So today I'm going to talk to you about shoulder impingement, which is a painful shoulder condition which typically affects you in a lot of functional activities in your day to day, uh, such as hanging out washing, reaching for something up high, or even lifting groceries. Those are things that you can have trouble with if you are getting shoulder impingement. So what it is and what happens inside the joint if you have this condition is, I'll show you with this, uh, with this model. So this is the front of your shoulder, this is your arm down the side, and what you can see is underneath the top of the shoulder and around your shoulder capsule are tendons. And so as you lift your arm out to the side, if you're getting impingement, they'll get irritated and pinched through there. And that can cause a lot of pain and difficulties through the shoulder. So what I'm going to show you today is two tests that you can do at home to test whether this may be what you're experiencing. The first one is to take your affected arm, cross it over your shoulder like that, and you're going to lift your elbow up, that sort of movement, using your other hand, provide a bit of resistance and push up against it. Now, if you get pain or weakness with this movement, especially if you compare to the other side, then it's very likely that you are experiencing impingement in your shoulder. Another test that you can do is a simple one of lifting your arm out to the side with your palm forward. A normal movement should be all the way to your ear without any problems. However, if you are getting impingement, you might have a painful arc of movement in the middle where pain will start and then ease off again towards the top. Again, compare to your good side and see if there's a difference between the two.